Hi parents, thank you for checking out this tutorial. I'm Elaine from Great Solution, Jimmy Math. In this tutorial, I will be explaining this concept called Common Numerator. This is yet another variation of PSLE questions involving fractions. You must be wondering, what is common numerator? I've heard of common denominator before, and that is converting denominators of different fractions to the same number, so we can add or subtract them. Well, common numerator isn't any different, but this time we are converting the numerators of different fractions into the same number. When do we need to apply this method? When two or more sets of fractions are equal to one another. A simple example will be one third of the apples is equal to two third of the oranges. So one third here is equal to two third here, therefore equal fraction. So the method of common numerator can help students shave precious minutes of the time taken to complete a question. Using two examples from past year prelim papers, I will explain how we can apply the concept of common numerator in equal fractions question. The first question is taken from Nanyang Primary School and it is worth 3 marks. Dinrong had a total of 304 chicken pies and blueberry pies at first. After giving away an equal number of each type of pie, she had one third of the chicken pies and two fifths of the blueberry pies left. How many blueberry pies were left? Since Dinrong had one third of the chicken pies and two fifths of the blueberry pies left, that would mean two-thirds of the chicken pies and three-fifths of the blueberry pies given away are the same. To help you visualize better, I will still draw a model first so you can see what I mean by common numerator. So as discussed, two-thirds of the chicken pies were sold And these two units is actually the same as three units of the blueberry pie sold. So these two units here is actually the same as this three units for the blueberry pies. All right, and then we add on another two units to make up five units all together. So essentially, we are looking at just this part of the fractions because the units here and here should be the same. So what we'll typically do in a model is that we will find the lowest common multiple and split the model up such that we have the same number of units here and here. All right, between two and three, it is very easy to split them up into six units each. However, some fractions might be much bigger and the splitting would take up a lot of time. Sometimes students may miscalculate, draw the wrong number of parts in the model and get the question wrong. And this whole process here is also very time consuming. So how can we use common numerator instead? All we need to do is write the two sets of fractions that are equal to one another. So 2 third of chicken pies is equal to 3 fifth of blueberry pies. Right? Two units here is the same as three units here, but it is not the same, isn't it? So we want to make them the same. Therefore, common numerator. All right. And it can be easily done simply by multiplying this entire fraction by 3 and multiplying this fraction by 2. 
So we have six units here and here. So let's go ahead and do that. Over 10 units of blueberry pies. Now that we have made these two units the same, that would mean that we can compare these two fractions on the same scale. That means that there were 9 units of chicken pies and 10 units of blueberry pies at first. So let's add that up. Alright, and this 19 units is 304 as stated in the very first sentence of the question. And of course, we'll find what one unit is. 304 divided by 19 would give us 16. Going back to the question, how many blueberry pies were left? All right, the number of blueberry pies left would be 4 units since 6 out of 10 units have been sold. So, 4 units would simply be 16 times 4 and that would give us 64. And that is the answer to this question. The second question is taken from Catholic High School and it is worth 3 marks. Mrs. Lim prepared 160 chicken wings and some nuggets for a party. During the party, an equal number of chicken wings and nuggets were eaten. 25% of the chicken wings and 20% of the nuggets were left. How many nuggets did Mrs. Lim prepare for the party? Now the key words of these questions are an equal number of chicken wings and nuggets were eaten. That would mean that the fraction of the chicken wings eaten and the fraction of the nuggets eaten are the same. Since 25% of the chicken wings and 20% of the nuggets were left, that would mean 75% of the chicken wings and 80% of the nuggets were eaten. You must be thinking, isn't this a percentage question? Well, yes and no. All we need to do is to convert these percentages here to fraction so we can easily apply common numerator to solve this question. 75% is 3 quarter in its simplest form and 80% is 4 fifth in its simplest form. That would mean that 3 quarter of the chicken wings is actually the same as 4 fifth of the nuggets. Okay, so 3 units of the chicken wings and 4 units of the nuggets are actually the same number. However, it is not reflected in the number of units, right? So, our job is to make these two numbers the same. Therefore, common numerator. The lowest common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. So, we should multiply this fraction here by 4 and this fraction here by 3. Make sure that when we multiply, we do it for both the numerator and the denominator because we are not trying to change the value or the proportion of the fraction. Okay, 4 times 3 is 12 and 5 times 3 15. Now that we have made the numerator the same, we can compare these two fractions on the same scale. What that means is one unit of chicken wings is now the same as one unit of nuggets. Since the question already states that 100 and chicken wings were prepared at first, that would mean 16 units of chicken wings is 160. And of course, one unit would be 160 divided by 16 and that would be 10. The question is asking for the number of nuggets Mrs. Lim prepared for the party. Now the original number of nuggets is 15 units. So 15 times 10 would give us 150. And that's it. That's our answer to this question.
So as you can see, this method is so much faster compared to drawing a model, splitting every unit up into equal parts, and then counting them one by one to find out what are the total units of chicken wings and total units of nuggets. One thing I'd also like to point out is that this method of common numerator is actually the fraction counterpart of constant part ratios. For constant part ratios, we are trying to make one part of the ratio the same, right? In this method, we are trying to make one part of the fraction the same. I hope this tutorial was helpful and easy to follow. If you have any questions for me or have any suggestions as to what kind of topics you'd like to see me explain in upcoming videos, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and also subscribe to this channel for more free tutorials.